Thursday. It is April 19th. It's an 8 day, and as always, I hope the lines are ready to roar. At Howard High School, we're filling our days with pride because we are Howard Strong. We have a, I guess, what, is it, what time is it now? 7 o'clock, 7.30 there, so about there. So you have, uh, let's see, about 14, 15, 16, until midnight, I know that. I couldn't count, count my math that quickly. Someone else can do that there. You have until midnight tonight to get your after prom tickets there. So you can buy them online. You can also get them uh, here today during lunch shifts. You definitely want to be there. It's going to be an awesome time there. You have lots of great prizes, great food. So people walked away last year getting TVs, laptops, uh, tablets, uh, phones, all kinds of crazy stuff there. So it's going to be an awesome time. I know that uh, PTSA had taken your feedback, heard that they uh, going to increase the amount of uh, seating. So you got spots to sit down, have a good time, enjoy yourselves, and rock it out there with all your junior and senior friends there. So make sure you get your after prom tickets. Have a good day. Good morning, Howard. Welcome back. Hey, Juliana, did you know that today is National High Five Day? No, but now let's get to these announcements. <laughs> but first, please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join the Howard Republicans next Thursday, April 26th, with a discussion on the Second Amendment. We will discuss the context of its creation and its place in the 21st century. We will meet in N205. See you there. Attention, Leonis. There is a brief meeting today in B112 at 210 to discuss our cultural cinema trip next week. Please see Senor Martinez if you have any questions. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Do you like winning prizes? Well, next week, Howard UNICEF Club is running their first un annual I Heart UNICEF Challenge. Check it out on Twitter and on Instagram. The JV softball team will continue their, oh, continue their winning streak beating River Hill yesterday. Ellen Gabriel went 3-for-3 three three at the plate and led the team with four stolen bases. Today the girls host Mount Hebron. Game time is at 4 o'clock. Do you need service hours? Are you interested in helping others? If so, come to the UNICEF Club meetings on Thursdays at 2.15 in Student Services. We are looking for new members to join in our cause of bringing awareness and financial support to worldwide and local issues. The JV softball team continued their win streak to beating Glen Elk <laughs> on Friday. Carrie Holderman hit a triple and Abby Trimmer hit her first home run of the season to help lead their team to victory. The Lady Lions will travel to River Hill Wednesday. Game time is 4 p.m. We sent Nathan out to go check out some of our fellow Lions outfits. Let's see what our Lions are wearing today. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? Out for the day segment. I'm here with Julia and Jack. Um, so that's a pretty cool outfit you got on. What, what do you got going here? Well, I got a, a pink Damn. sweater, and then I also got a, a blue shirt. Blue yeah, shirt. A, it's called a, a dorm pants, like, dorm pants. Um, like sweatpants, and I got some rainbow shoes. I like the rainbow shoes. And Jack, what are you, what are you rocking today? You Puma, Puma shirt, blue, I like it, nice, nice jeans, and what kind of shoes are those? What brand is that? Nike, Nike shoes, well, out for the day guys, what do you guys think, like it? Well that's all we have for you today Howard, have, have a, a terrific, terrific Thursday. Thursday.